Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Second period. Where players dash with skates of flash, the home team trails behind. But they grab the puck and go bursting up, and they're down across the line. They storm the crease like bumblebees. They travel like a burning flame. We see them slide the puck inside. It's a 1-1 hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Third period. Yeah. Last game in the playoffs, too. Great, great tune. Oh, take me where the hockey players face off down the rink. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to kick off the inaugural segment of What the Puck, <clears throat> excuse me, that pretty much uh, sums everything up here with the NHL. Another lockout. <coughs> excuse me. Another lockout is upon us. As I, uh, well, I want you to see these uh, jerseys here. I got Rangers and, of course, the Charlestown Chiefs from the great movie. But another lockout um, is upon us. It's an absolute uh, joke that this happened, but it is what it is. But let's go back to last season. What a finals it was. The number eight seed, cleaning house. Los Angeles Kings, their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. And the way they're playing now, they have everyone back. They signed Jonathan Quick to a long-term deal. They're going to be contenders again whenever this season uh, gets going. Of course, a big deal over the um, mind fart. The big deal over the break was Rick Nash coming to the New York uh, Rangers. Uh, putting my bias as a Rangers fan just aside for now, um, I believe that the Rangers are a cup contending team right now and that's being held back uh, by the lockout right now. Brandon sent the course we lost Brandon Dubinsky and Anisimov who uh, went to Columbus. Good luck there. Um, but I think the Rangers have a shot this thing. Um, uh, we should, uh, they should have a chance at, uh, at winning this. Winning the whole thing since uh, 19... Um, 94. Now let's get to this lockout thing. It was on the calendar when these bozos came up with the one back in 05, whenever it was, the whole season was lost. It was on the calendar that it expired on whenever it was, September, and they didn't do a damn thing about it. Sure, they met here and there to discuss things, but as I read, and as I'm sure you all know, in the headlines recently, the two sides, the owners and the Players Association, met and nothing was happened. Nothing. It seems to be the common thing. Why meet it all if you're not going to come up with anything to solve the solution for the fans? You're fighting, uh, you're arguing, and more importantly, you're fighting over the fans' hard-earned money. Absolute joke and robbing us of, uh, of a good NHL uh, season. Robs the fans, which is the most important... Uh, Thing I think it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, I blame both parties. I don't blame just one. I blame both parties for not being productive. Um, NHLPA, they met in the past summer, and they were all set to go, ready to, to talk about the issues, and they didn't even, one of the sides didn't even have a proposal ready. Well, how the hell are you going to do that if you don't even have a freaking proposal ready? Come on. Absolute joke. What this does is, since it's another lockout, we saw it again uh, a few years ago, it screws minor league players out of a job. Because what you're going to have is, you're going to have trickle-down effect. Of course, you have the NHL guys going over to Europe. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Then you're going to have some guys going down to the A, which kicks a bunch of guys out of that job. Then you got some guys going down to the East Coast Hockey League, which washes them out of that uh, uh, job. So it's this negative um, trickle-down uh, effect. Now, Europe. 
fine place it is. And a bunch of guys, high profile guys from the NHL are going over there during this lockout, whenever uh, it may end. And they're including from the Boston Bruins, Andrew Ferentz, who signed with HD Czech, Blah 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 Jovi. And of course, Tyler Sagan, the young up and coming Boston Bruin, who signed a long term deal for them. He's a good player. Yuri Hitler, of course, going to the Czech Republic, came over to the Calgary Flames from the Detroit Red Wings, a, a strong, strong, strong veteran player. He's in Europe right now as we speak. Jeff Skinner, the young and upcoming uh, player for the Carolina Hurricanes, who signed a long term contract. He's down in the AHL with the Charlotte Checkers. Colorado, C Simon Varlamov is in the KHL. Former Washington Capitol. Good goalie right there. Dallas Stars, Yammer Yager. The guy who signed a one-year contract for $4.5 million with the Dallas Stars. And a guy who turned around and said, Screw you, Pittsburgh. I'm signing with your crosstown rival, the Philadelphia Flyers. He's in Europe right now as we speak. Um, Pavel Dotsuk, playing for Moscow, KHL. The young guy, Nail Yakubov, for the Edmonton Oilers, KHL. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, the sensation that the Oilers drafted, one of their, what, 10 first round draft picks that they have. He's going to be in Oklahoma this uh, season so far. Anze Kopitar, the guy who I thought when Marion Gabrick was in the slump a couple years ago, should have been traded for Marion Gabrick, Franze Kopitar. Didn't happen. I'm still happy with the results. Rangers still a cup contender. He is with Sweden. He is in Sweden during this lockout. Moving right along, Andre Kostitsin from Nashville. He's in the KHL. Ilya Kovalchuk, the long-term signing New Jersey Devil, former Atlanta Thrasher. Is in the KHL as well uh, with St. Petersburg. Now here's something for you, folks. I told you Rick Nash signed, or excuse me, got traded from the Rangers. Can you get a good look there? He got out of Columbus. Ah, there's a good look right there. Two blue sweaters. He's playing in Switzerland, and from what I heard, he's hurt. Not what you want to hear if you're a Rangers fan. Good news is. Uh, sh hopefully it's short term, okay, and he can probably fix that up and uh, be healthy. But anyway, he's over there in Switzerland, hopefully not getting banged up. Jason Spezza, the former Binghamton senator, is in Switzerland as well. Now the Flyers have Ruslan Fedotenko, the former Trenton Titan, is in the KHL along with Jakub Voracek, who's in the Czech Republic. And Ilya, the, excuse me, Ilya, the universe, Brzgalov. Quirky guy, but I like it. He's a goalie. He is in uh, with Moscow as well. Going right along. Again, these are high-profile, high-profile guys. Uh, in Europe, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, we saw Evgeny Malkin. He was on uh, ESPN2 the other day. He's with, uh, in the KHL. Joe Thornton is in Switzerland. For the Capitals, uh, Michael Neuwirth is in Czech Republic. And Alexander Ovechkin is with Dynamo Moscow. There you go. All these guys are uh, are in uh, Europe right now, playing, staying in shape. Better to do that than to sit on your ass and uh, not do anything to when the season comes back. Now, talk a little bit about how this affects minor league players. It happens right here in this region. In case you don't know, my name is Smythe, and I am from... New Jersey, Central New Jersey. We have a minor league team here in the capital city of Trenton called the Titans. Okay. A local guy by the name of uh, Palace. I don't know his first name at the moment. From Princeton. Graduated Princeton University. Played for the Trenton Titans last year. But as a result of this lockout, the Philadelphia Flyers assigned a bunch of guys from the AHL down to the East Coast League. And he was the odd man out. So he gets screwed as a result of a bunch of suits in an office sitting around not discussing anything and not having a season. I hope they're aware of that and I hope they know that. It's sickening that these guys get tossed aside. But you know, it's in a way it's a good thing because the AHL and the East Coast League's level get 
their skill level goes up a little bit. Brandon Dubinsky is playing with the Alaska Aces. Gomez, I heard, is playing there as well. That's cool for Doobie. It's his home state, his hometown. We saw Gomez do that in 05, and ironically, he was in. He played against the uh, the Titans in the finals that year, and he was injured. And the Titans won the cup. But if it, if it was if, if he was in a lineup, you could bet your sorry behind. It would be a different story. When it would be when this whole thing is going to be resolved? Who knows? Uh, when I'm hearing the Winter Classic, they don't want to lose that. Oh no 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 no! That's huge in Michigan between the Toronto Maple Leafs and Detroit Red Wings at the big joint. They don't want to lose that. Lots of money. That's what this is all about. Is money it makes me sick. There's lots of money involved in that with the TV contracts and so forth, and they don't want to risk losing that. So if it will happen, it will probably start. Close to the Winter Classic, if not on January 1st of 2013. Uh, let's see what I got here. B -b -b avoidance scenario. Uh, you know, it's, 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 this is not really fair to the minor leaguers, but, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I think they understand it. Hopefully they do. And it's just uh, one of those things that you have to deal with. It's, uh, it sucks. It really does suck for hockey fans, but hopefully you can find hockey in your area, whether it be high school, peewee, midget, college, junior, minor league. There's still hockey out there, hockey fans, so don't you fret. Go out and get the hockey. Just because there's no NHL yet doesn't mean you have to sit at home and watch, I don't even know, Oprah or whatever you do. Go out and see some uh, hockey. So that is that. I am Smythe with what the puck as we go on here interesting developments hopefully will happen it's going to be a very interesting year in the in the minors and all and all this kind of stuff i'll keep you updated on some stuff comment on me let me know what you think lay it on me we'll see you smythe with what the puck